Hello everybody, this is I'm Press Happy 2 coming back with the video. But before I get started, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and thank you to my new subscribers who will subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up if you like my video. Um, so this video is going to be um the seven day bag challenge that was started by determined to be um she did not tag me um but I did watch the video with uh Duniatic 615 and she had some questions that she gave everybody some homework to do um I guess if you did participate in the seven bag challenge, seven day bag challenge. So, this is how mine went. So, the bag that I chose was um, this brand here that I showed in another video. Um, the left, I can't, I'm probably pronouncing this wrong. Lab skin or lab skinned or something Berlin. I don't know. I don't know the correct pronunciation for it. But this is the bag <clears throat> that I carry uh, that I chose to do the seven day challenge with. Mind you, I am a tote person, purse tote lady. I do like all sizes of purses. However, I do gravitate towards. Um, uh, hobo and tote mainly but I do like satchels too so I decided to carry this for seven days to see how my little challenge was gonna go well um, not everything fit in here I took everything out because I switched bags but this is the strap here and this is how much space I'm working with in this bag this is the back and this is the front so needless to say this bag it was a good carry however uh, it did not carry everything that I normally would carry in my purse so I'm going to start the questions uh, that Dooney at 615 gave us homework on um, that would ass assess to do an assessment for the bag that you carry for seven days. So, however, so the first, the questions that I picked, uh, did I learn anything new about myself while carrying this bag? What I learned new about carrying this bag for seven days is I cannot carry this a purse this size for seven days because I put too much stuff in my bag. So it was really difficult to carry this bag for seven days. And what I did was I had to put some of my stuff in my work bag, work tote that I generally take to work. And the tote that I was carrying, which is my number one pick overall for 2020, was the MCM uh reversible vestos i think uh my rose gold tote so i ended up putting stuff in there and another uh catch-all bag that i normally would put in a purse <laughs> so this did not work out so that's what i learned about myself i cannot carry a bag this magnitude of size for seven days it was a nice light carry on my shoulders of course but I was missing other things that I normally carry and then the second is what did I learn or realize during the handbag challenge regarding the bag of choice well what I realize is I'm definitely a tote lady i like my totes larger bags that's what i realized during the seven days that i carried this bag third what challenges did i 
face during the bag challenge. Oh, I couldn't fit it. Hardly nothing in here. Keys, a lip gloss, a small wallet, um, my Kleenex, hand sanitizer, and my corn pouch, and my eyeglasses. That was mainly it. That's all I got in this bag. So, that's why this was a challenge. Doing this bag challenge. The fourth question is, did I have an aha moment during the challenge? <laughs> my aha moment was, do not carry this bag for seven days anymore. Uh, a bag this size for seven days, I can't do it. Uh, that was my aha moment when I realized I could not zip my zipper um, after I put everything in here. Could not zip the top of it. So it was bulging, which I don't like my zippers to bulge because I'm scared it's going to mess it up. So that was my aha moment carrying this bag. I do love this bag. Don't get me wrong. It's gotten softer over time since I've had it. And I love the way it smells. The leather smells really good. Reminds me of the Florentine leather. Um, but yeah, this was definitely not the carry for a seven day challenge at all. And lastly, um, this is a question that uh, Dooney Attic had mentioned as well. Was there that I, what bag that I thought was I seeking out um, or color for 2020? A bag that I've been wanting or wanted to sort out to try to locate and find. Well, this will be a shout out to uh, DJ King because she showed a video of her large hobo marine blue uh, hobo bag in pebble leather. And when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to have that bag. That color, I don't have that color in my collection at all. So, I just had to find that bag. I had to get it. And when there was a sale that popped up, and that's how I got it at a decent price. So, I would say the most sought out bag that I that I purchased for 2020 was the marine colored uh, large hobo pebble leather uh, double strap bag. That's my 2020 sought out bag. I just love that color. And if anyone don't remember what it looks like, this is what it looks like. This is the color here. It's just so cute, this color. This is the bag I just had to have after I seen DJ King's. It's so soft and squishy. But once you put everything in it, oh my gosh, it gets a little heavy. But I do, this is my 2020 um, side out bag here. I just like it. Just love it. Um, I'm trying to stop saying um so much. But I'm saying it anyway. So... I think that's the last thing that I have for this video. I did switch into um, another bag. And I was going to carry my MCM Vestos Reversible Tote again. I just can't stay out of that bag. <laughs> that's my favorite tote. It's so comfortable. The straps are so comfortable. I mean, I can carry everything that I need in it. For work, personal as a purse, or what have you. I just love that bag. I do. So, I, it was hard for me to stay out of it when I switched from the Webskin uh, Black Crossbody Bag purse. So, yeah, that was my 7-day bag challenge. This little lovely boxy crossbody bag here I do like it but it was not it definitely was a challenge definitely was a challenge so I learned from it though that's all that matters I just know I can't carry it <laughs> over a few days that's what I learned and so the bag that I switched into 
which was a spare of the moment. And I just got lazy and I didn't want to dig down in my other bags, collection of bags, to find a purse to carry. And this was up on the shelf, so I kind of just grabbed it. So, this is what I'm carrying here is my, um, my Louis Vuitton Palermo GM. I have a Palermo PM, which is smaller than this here. It's smaller than this. Um, I got this pre-loved. Her and the little baby one. <laughs> the strap is not that long on it. Um, I'm going to try to add the other strap on and see if I can make it longer. I haven't done it yet though. But just to give you an idea of what I had in the little black bag. Um, this is what I carried in the black bag. And this here. Um, and my keys. This here. And I had this lotion in there as well. And pretty much, oh, I can't forget my glasses. I have this in that black bag. My little LV coin pouch here, key pouch. I use it for coins. And I had this here, Christian Dior's uh, lip balm here. Had that in there. That's all that that bag would hold. <laughs> That's it. So I'm using all that in here. I was too lazy to get my um, other pouch for a catch-all. So I just grabbed this for something quick. And I got my comb in here. Um, and of course my Kleenex. Pretty much that's it. Oh, and my pen case. Gotta, gotta have that. Um, that's it. That's all that I have in here. I did not switch my wallet because I got lazy and didn't want to switch into my LV um, Zippy wallet. So I'm just carrying this little wallet still. And this for my coins. Pretty much that is it. So this is what I am currently carrying for the meantime, but I'm sure I will switch bags again when I get tired of carrying this. Because this is not that light either. This is canvas, but it's not that light. So, And I don't even hardly have anything in it. So this is my video, my 7 day bag challenge, and the questions um, assessment questions on what I carried. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, everybody stay healthy and safe out there. Keep wearing your mask and washing your hands because um, this COVID stuff has really gotten out of control. And now that we have some more variants that have popped up in the United States, we just don't know. Um, Hopefully, uh, people were able to get their vaccinations, who could get it. I have not taken mine yet, but I plan on it eventually. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate my subscribers. I thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, helping me grow. Um, I enjoy doing these videos. I think they're pretty fun. I'm a little pooped out this evening. <laughs> I'm tired. So anyway, I better cut it short because I'm at 14 minutes now. So hope you enjoyed this video of my 7-day bag challenge. Thank you, Duniatic615, for giving us some homework to do on this challenge. On this challenge. And thank, um, I think Termin to be as well starting the challenge. It was fun. Everybody have a good evening. I am leaving you guys now. Peace out. Bye.